Hi there, I'm Noreen Mackay, demonstrator for Katie Sue Designs Flower Soft People. Today we're going to be making this exquisite card which has been printed out from the floral designs for card making. Beautiful lily design. What I've done to assemble it is, I first of all printed off the designs that I want. This particular one is a labels 10 die template and it always tells you on the bottom of the sheet what particular die we've used. I've also printed out one of the beautiful backing papers from the Lily. The delicate artwork on there is absolutely incredible. Really, really handy to use. So beautifully illustrated, hand painted by a local artist, Christine Charlton. So what I've done is I've already used some of the backing paper to use it as a base for the easel card and I've also used a little piece on the top there that I'm going to mount the actual topper onto. Okay then, so this is the beautiful uh, lily design that we've got. I'm going to be using some memento ink and this range of sentiment stamps there's two in the set and it's the floral sentiment stamps. Nice clear stamps so you're in no doubt as to where you actually can place your sentiment. So even pressure and you get a beautiful result time after time. What I also want to do before we go any further is I'm going to use some of the black ultra fine. We need to be using our glue which is the flower soft glue it dries very very clear but also importantly it dries very firmly onto your cards so tiny little dabs of glue in and around where we've got this detail of the little spotting inside the lily and you'll be able to see just how little glue I'm actually using there now you put your flower soft or your ultra fine in this case into a dish so that you can sprinkle it over the top give it a good tap and you can see immediately the texture that that's created now this is going to dry and dry clear so what we're going to be left with is one that I've just assembled and I've also backed it using the larger version of the template and I've put this onto some foam pads just to add a little bit more dimension to the finished card once it's dry, what you can do is you can just give it a light rub to take off the excess and what you're left with is the beautiful textured result using your ultra fine. I'm then just going to back this onto the easel part of the card. So just be careful you don't go too high up so that it's going to be shown on your card. Make sure that you've got that either sides nice and straight and you can see that we've got that in position there. Next, I've already stamped out one of the other little sentiments from the floral sentiments and I've backed it with a little bit of silver mirror. I'm just going to put the glue down and the glue enables me to be able to slide this around to make sure that I get there in the right position. I just want to tuck it there right on the corner. You'll see there I'll put a little gem on the end of the sentiment. What I've also done is again some silver mirror and I've used a couple of the little additional flowers. You see on here all of the little additional flowers and the leaves that we've got and I've just used a couple of those to embellish the end which is going to be the stopper. I've got foam pads on the back and this is what's going to stop the easel from sliding too far forward so you can see that that's going to result like that. So then just to finish it off what I've done is I've just cut into a couple of the little of the petals and what that does is it enables you to add a little bit more dimension by just lifting them up and bending them. So you can tuck those ones at the back but you can see how if you just bend that that it stops being flat and inanimate. Just push it up and then with a little bit of glue 
on the back we can then just place that into position I'm also going to use a couple of the leaves and again rather than just have them flat like this just bend it so you can see there that I've just bent that up and I'm just going to put glue right on the tip of that leaf and just tuck that into position underneath the flower exactly the same thing a bit glue on the end of the leaf and tuck that in position there simple an application but I'm sure you'll agree that that is a really stunning card that you'll have been proud to make and the recipient will be absolutely thrilled to receive hope to see you again for further demonstrations